In this video, we're gonna check out a really cool 56 Chevrolet with some drag racing history, a lot of cool old school pieces on it. So let's take a look. According to the information that was with this car, it says that in 1964, Flip Hargrave was 19 years old, working as a detail boy at Nall Chevrolet in Iowa City, Iowa. This 56 arrived while working and he purchased it for $51. The car still had the original 265 cubic inch small block Chevrolet in it, but he took it to Lawrence Brothers Speed Shop where they put a GM Duntov high performance solid lift cam in it and then a bunch of Corvette components like a 2.4 intake with two four barrel carburetors and the distributor and valve covers also came from the same Corvette. They also put a set of Mickey Thompson high compression pistons in it and a custom made nine quart oil pan. It had a Corvette three speed manual transmission with a 456 gear out back, lots of cool components in there, including an RC Industries blowproof bell housing. This is an NHRA approved piece, very old school, very authentic. Aluminum flywheel inside of there, Schaefer clutch. Then it says he went to l and Speed Shop and purchased the Stuart Warner gauges, the Hearst mystery shifter, Mickey Thompson headers, and Mickey Thompson slicks, traction bars, drive shaft safety loop, and the 10,000 RPM sun tack that's in there. All these parts still exist and they're still on the car, which is unbelievable that they could survive all these years and not get parted out or sold off or traded off for something else. But as we found out, in February of 1967, Flip was deployed overseas and the car was put into storage. He purchased a military parachute to cover the car while he was gone and it's still in the trunk today. Flip owned the car until 2020, just two years ago, and he believes it only has about 100 miles on it since he built it way back in the 1960s. That's pretty crazy. Every receipt to all the speed parts were found in the glove box, including the sales ticket from Nall Chevrolet when he purchased the car in 1964. According to the information board, Flip's wife actually hand-lettered all the lettering on this car which on the side of it back here, it says up tight and out of sight. Well, that was actually a Stevie Wonder hit back in 1966. And then you'll see on the back, it could have been a little controversial back in the day. It says gray power, a little black, a little white. Everything on this car is original to the car. It does look like they've upgraded the tires at some point. It's got some, what appear to be modern Firestones and some recap slicks on the back. The wheels are polished up really nice. The paint itself, even though it's been on there for so many years, it still shines up good. And you'll notice that they've removed all the trim. It has no side trim on it whatsoever. And a 56 two-door hardtop would have either been a Bel Air or a 210. So it would have had some type of stainless steel trim on the side of it. They filled all those holes, painted it silver, and then put that lettering on the back. You'll also notice that it's got some custom tail lights in the back. And you can see they removed the front bumper, which was a pretty common thing back in the 60s. The car now lives in St. Joseph, Missouri, and it appears to have a pretty good home where the owners truly appreciate the drag racing history and they don't plan to change anything about it. And I just love all the history and the documentation and the fact that this thing survived all these years without getting turned back into a street car or turned into a restoration or a street rod or this thing could have been sold off and changed hands 20 times between 1966 and now but it didn't, it stayed the same, and now it's got this great story to tell.